Boeing's new chairman says the company's CEO has his support. Dave Calhoun also eased the minds of investors who think the 737 MAX crisis is one that the company cannot control. That may be one of the reasons why shares of Boeing rose 2 percent in today's trading. Phil LeBeau has more. Less than a week after Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg was blasted on Capitol Hill. If you had an ounce of integrity, you would know that the right thing to do is to step okay. down. Boeing chairman Dave Calhoun was emphatic. The board still backs Mullenberg. From the vantage point of our board, Dennis has done everything right um, from the beginning. For more than a year, as investigators zeroed in on the cause of the 737 MAX crashes and fixing the plane's defective flight control system, Mullenberg has been on the hot seat. Critics say he oversees a company where the push to roll out the MAX came at the expense of ensuring the planes are safe an allegation Calhoun denies. That question of culture and anybody's willingness to trade safety against anything else, uh, never seen it, never touched it, uh, don't believe it. Still, Mullenberg like is stinging from congressmen questioning his $23 million pay package last year. Is anybody at Boeing taking a cut or working for free to try to rectify this problem? Dennis called me uh, Saturday morning, um, 10 o'clock. Um, with the purpose of suggesting that he uh, not take any compensation for 2019 as in, in the form of bonuses, which is, of course, most of your compensation. Almost 90 percent of Dennis Mullenberg's pay last year came in the form of a bonus and stock awards. Not only is he waiving those for 2019, but also for as long as it takes for Boeing to catch up on 737 MAX deliveries, which may not happen until early 2021. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report.